joy to have you to myself at last. I heard Lady Harding forms a party to play cards. I fear that I've lost you to her. Ma'am, Morbra has informed the king he may rely upon your presence tomorrow afternoon. I'm sure you know it's what we all agree. It is a pity of But look at me. I dread to walk. Then I'll take you in your chair. I can't. I'll carry you myself if necessary. I can't. It cannot be. Forgive me, but it can't. I will not stoop to please the king. That monster, that Caliban, that Dutch abortion! Quiet, mate. Pray do not speak so openly. They say Sophia calls herself hereditary princess of all England, and that the king applauds it. And who told you such a thing? They say it all around court, a vicious slight upon my name, but nothing would induce me to receive her should she come. So better that the matter is done with now, and best they know it quickly. Where are you going? You clearly have no need of me. You got the gossips and the fools to offer you advice. So I'll be gone, and if you do that, counsel. Wait, no, what do you mean? Your Highness, you have often said it is my honesty you prize above all else. It is. So I will not be forthright. I know it cost your highness dear to key the king, but you must know it cost us too. Did you forget how quickly he first used us? A full two months poor Margaret languished in the tower, and I was banned from seeing him. A long and dreadful persecution, and now we must submit to him, accept his humorous overtures. And sometimes, yes, admit he can be right. And this we do because we love our land and our church beyond ourselves. And so do I. But forgive me, ma'am. Good night. Wait, no! You promised you would stay with me. I've changed my mind, Your Highness. It's done so easily. And perhaps I'll not be too late for cards. Wait, sir! I will not let you leave me! I forbid it! Sarah, dearest one, my darling, forgive me. I will do this and anything you ask of me. You will? Yes. I would go to court. I swear. I swear it in God's name. But please, don't walk away from me. I beg you. I beg you on my knees. Please, Your Highness. I do not like to see you so distressed. Why do you, Your Highness, me? Come. Call me Mrs. Morley. And I will call you Mrs. Freeman. And all will then be well again. I don't see how I can. We coined those names as long as doing hierarchy. Yet of late, I must confess, you can make me feel your status. Oh, oh, never, never say so. You are my one true half, my equal in all things, and all the space within my heart that George concedes is honed and filled by you. Forgive me, Mrs. Freeman. I would swallow daggers down before I would offend you. Forgive your faith for Molly, please. It's the then kiss these lips as you once used to. When we're girls, perhaps, I'll kiss this head and kiss this hand. And I promise I am bound to you. Oh, how weak I feel. Come, let's lie down side by side. It is the fear that makes me so alarmed. I know. I've had the dreams again last night. The hordes arrived and dragged me to the streets. And, and forcing me on my back, they tore me limb from limb uh, until there was nothing left of me. It is a dream and I've been warm. You're secure with your 